What's up guys? Hey, in today's video, I'm going to share some things that I haven't shared with anyone. There's going to be some pictures I'm going to show you that no one has ever seen. A good friend of mine that I've been staying in contact with actually went up to the facility today and shared some information with me. Now, the stock price is not correlating with what I'm about to show you. But in other positive news right now, as I'm making this video, it's 12.44 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We have 16 minutes left until market closes. And just so you all know, our volume on the day as of right now is 49 million. And some might think that is a lot, but it's actually a smaller day compared to what Mullen has done before. Another good thing is we actually touched 47. We actually went lower than 47 today. The low on the day was 45.82. I don't think that's a good thing, but as of right now, we're trading at 48.68 as I'm making this video. So I have shared on Twitter and on YouTube that we could come down to 47 cents. And the reason for that, I'll show you on the charts in a minute, was that is the 786 level for all the technical people out there that look at charts. So we're gonna be getting into that. I'm gonna show you the information that I got um, earlier today. And also I'm gonna share with you the latest news that Mullen just put out. Before I do any of that though, don't forget to drop a like. I would always appreciate that. Let's get this to 400 likes. That would be absolutely amazing so more people can see this information because I do think this is really important information, especially this week. Because if you've been a part of this channel with me, you know I said this week is very, very crucial, especially looking at the charts on a technical standpoint. And today is not the best that we came this low, but if this holds, this could be the higher low from the 39 cent bottom, and then we could start making our way up. Of course, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is all based on my own opinion and information I find online and from other people. You always have to do your own research at the end of the day. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to, that'd be great. So first thing I'll share with all of you is six days ago, I made this post on Twitter. I said, I believe it's very important that we hold 53 cents or we could go down to 47. Now is the time to drop news, David, while the market is crashing, your stock can shine. Okay, so obviously six days ago, we were above 53. We've been touching 53, 52 and a half, and we closed above 53 for a couple days now, especially earlier this week with today being Wednesday. But unfortunately today we actually broke that support of 52, 50, 53, and then we broke through the mental support of 50 cents and we touched lows of 45, 82, but we are making our way back up, trading at 48.50 right now. We have 13 minutes left till market closes, so we will see where we close today. But I would say if we close above 47, above the 786, then that's a good sign, right? It's not the best sign that we're down here. I'm frustrated just as much as most of you are, but it's a good sign. Now there's a news article, I'm just gonna link it down below because it is a lot of stuff that Mullen put out today talking about you know, it was addressed to the shareholders basically because Mullen knows that people are pissed. So they're putting out information, I think to help people keep the confidence in Mullen moving forward. After I spoke with someone, I'm not gonna disclose his name or anything. And he went down to the plant and got these pictures and we had a good uh, conversation. It helped me also stick to my conviction, right? You know, I have my beliefs. I share the charts and the news with you guys, but I always say, it's good to hear other people's thoughts that have also been a part of Mullen for quite some time. And stay tuned, I'm gonna show you those pictures in just a second and a little bit of information on them. But you can see right here, these are the recent purchase orders that Mullen had. British Airways, New York Power Authority. These were both for campus uh, vans. NRTC for the class three, 279 million in purchase orders with Randy Marion. I spoke with Brad the other day and he said that they are expecting these class three vehicles pretty much any day now, but he also said probably looking like the first week of October, okay? But he doesn't know. He doesn't know completely when it's gonna, when they're gonna get there. It's all based around the licensing and that's with the EPA certification and getting all that stuff in order. And I can understand that that takes a long time. So I'm not really too concerned because my belief is still that production has been happening, especially for the class one van, which I'll show you in a second but this is just where we're at, right? So this is a piece of the news. If you wanna read the whole thing, I'll link it down below. Of course, follow me on Twitter also. You could see I put out updates a lot throughout the day, like calling the 47 cents happening if we broke 53. 
Now, if we break 47, I don't even want to talk about that. Let's just see where we close today. So now here's probably one of the most important things I'm gonna show you in this video today because the news was great. It was just an update to tell people, hey, the balance sheet looks good. Mullen is moving in the right direction. Yeah, the stock has been manipulated. Yeah, there's been dilution, there's been shorting. We all know that. But what I'm gonna show you right now shows us that production is a very real thing, okay? Mullen's plant is a very real building. And I really do believe they're pushing things where they're supposed to be. First, let's look at this. You can see AM, General, and Mullen actually share the same billboard because they're pretty much in the same space. And the person I spoke with, he literally said that the building is like 50 yards away, right? So they're next door neighbors. And Mullen's building is absolutely massive. Um, it helped him with his conviction also just going and seeing the plant. So again, if any of you can go see the plant, I would definitely do that. I am in California, so there's no way I can go see the plant, but I would always love information from all of you if you do go, and then we can talk about it. And here's a picture, you can see Mullen back there. Um, enormous plant, right? Big building to produce vehicles in. So again, is Mullen doing production? Yes, they're in production. That's a very real thing. I don't think they're just a company that's making all this fake stuff up just to be delisted, right? Just to take people's money. I do think they'll fight. I think they'll, they'll get the NASDAQ extension. I've said this before, um, but time will tell because it's very risky with where we're at right now, to be honest with all of you. And I know it's not fun for pretty much everyone that's been a part of this stock. All right, so here's one of the pictures that he snuck in there. They actually opened up this little garage gate thing right here. You can see this R and L carriers. Uh, they have a website right there. I haven't looked into this. If any of you know anything about that, definitely let me know down below um, because that obviously has something to do with Molin with what they're doing. I'll research it after this video, but you can see right there, that is a Molin white van. Okay, so that's the inside of the plant. Um, he also asked if he could go in the plant and they said no. They weren't allowing any tours right now or people to go in the plant. So I think they have a lot of things going for them, but the stock price is obviously a different story. But with obviously these pictures, people constantly getting in contact with Mullen employees and finding out new information, it definitely helps. And I know people out there are convicted and people are buying more shares and bringing their cost bases down because Mullen has a solid lineup with vehicles, Bollinger Motors deals, possible RDS deals. Um, they've sold vehicles recently with British Airways. Now they can extend that to all of all the airports that British Airways works with. So again, the question is, do you believe the class one van is here to stay? Do you think it has a place in our world when it comes to EV vehicles? Here's another picture uh, closer up for you, zoomed in a little bit. Looks like a van to me. Big facility. And then here's another picture, just the back of the van you can see right there. But yeah, let me know if you know anything about R&L Carrier. I'll look into it after this. Appreciate you guys for all watching. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, market's closing in five minutes, so we'll see where we go. Enjoy your day. Have a good one.